friends my name is sanindra in this video i am going to explain you about the notes of ascaris rubricoids for proper explanation of this video uh, the link of that video will be given in the description box so please follow the description box and open that link and watch the video so such that you can understand the concept of this ascaris rubricoids so in this video i am going to explain the notes of the ascaris rubricoids and in that video i have explained you about the ascaris rubricoids so firstly let us discuss about the structure of the ascaris rubricoids ascaris is commonly known as common round worm it is a monogenetic dimorphic pseudo silomate parasite sexes are separate and exhibit sexual dimorphism in both the pod is elongate and cylindrical mouth is present at the extreme anterior end and is surrounded by the three chitinous lips close to the mouth mid ventrally there is a small aperture called excretory pore so the structures are of two types male structure and female structure of ascaris so now let us discuss about the male structure of the ascaris so male posterior end is curved posterior and po posterior end possesses a cloacal aperture and a pair of equal sized pineal spicules helps to transfer these sperms during copulation copulation is nothing but uh, crossing between male and female such that to form the embryo or as a zygote okay now coming to the female structure of ascaris it has straight posterior end female genital pore present mid ventrally at about 1/3 the length from mouth so now let us discuss about the life history and, and that is nothing but the life cycle of this ascaris lumbricoids so both male and female round worms copulate that is nothing but it can undergo crossing in the small intestine of male and female release 2 lakh eggs per day so due to that copulation between male and female in such a way that it mainly leads to the formation of 2 lakh eggs per day each egg is surrounded by a protein coat followed by the chitinous shell and a lipid layer internally hence the eggs of ascaris are described as mammillated eggs these eggs come out along with fecal matter and undergo development in moist soil and transform into first stage rhabditiform larva okay this larva undergoes first molting and transforms into second stage rhabditiform larva which is infective stage to the new man that is nothing but when it is injected to the man then it then he is saying that it is very harmful so through contaminated food water infective stages enter into the small intestine and shell gets dissolved into two release second stage larva okay after completion of first stage larva it infects the man and mainly forms in such a way that the ascaris enter into the blood of the human and mainly forms second stage rhabditiform larva okay now it undergoes extra intestinal migration from the intestine it goes to the liver through hepatic portal vein and then into heart through post caval vein and reaches lungs through pulmonary arteries this hepatic portal vein pulmonary arteries and post caval veins you will learn in the structure of the heart and that video also i have uploaded in this in my channel okay in the alveoli of lungs it undergoes second molting to produce third stage rhabditiform larva it undergoes third molting to produce fourth stage larva so what do you understand by this first stage mainly forms first stage rhabditiform larva after first molting what happens it mainly forms second stage rhabditiform larva then again that second stage rhabditiform larva will undergoes molting and then it mainly forms third stage rhabditiform larva from third stage it again undergoes molting and mainly forms fourth stage rhabditiform larva and this fourth stage is the last stage where the rhabditiform larva cycle takes place it leaves the alveoli and reaches small intestine again through the bronchi trachea larynx glottis pharynx esophagus and stomach in the small intestine it can undergoes four moltings to become a young one which attains sexual maturity within 8 to 10 weeks so i have said you that now only i have said you that the fourth stage is the final molting that is nothing but uh, that ascaris uh, that is nothing but uh, this ascaris undergoes first stage larva and then undergoes second stage larva finally it mainly leads to the formation of fourth stage larva and the fourth stage larva which is mainly formed is the final stage of the larva after that it does it undergoes fifth stage larva okay that is the final stage of the larva that is nothing but it can undergoes final molting to become a young one which attains sexual maturity within 8 to 10 weeks in such a way that it can undergoes crossing because it becomes maturity within 8 to 10 weeks and then undergoes crossing and mainly leads to the formation of x okay there is nothing but 10 lakhs eggs per day as i said before it leaves the alveoli and reaches small intestine again 
through the bronchi, trachea, larynx, glottis, pharynx, esophagus, and stomach. In the small intestine, it undergoes the fourth molding, that is nothing but final molding, to become a young one which attains sexual maturity within 8 to 10 weeks. That is nothing but I have said you now, right? Uh, in such a way that it becomes uh, maturity. In, uh, as it becomes maturity, then it mainly has the capacity to produce sperms and it has the capacity to form the eggs. In such a way that it can undergo copulation and mainly sends the male sperm, sperms of the male to the female gamete. Okay? That is nothing but female. Female ascaris structure. Okay? And this is the life cycle of the ascaris lumbricoids, which is mainly caused by the adult worms of ascaris. See here. These adult worms, uh, when it undergoes copulation, that is nothing but when it becomes mature. I have said you here, right? If you see here, within 8 to 10 weeks, it becomes mature. After 8 to 10 weeks, as it becomes mature, then it, then the male worm and female worm. So, this left side one is male form and this right side one is female worm. And this both undergoes copulation after 8 to 10 weeks in such a way that it gets mature and mainly leads to the formation of this mammillated eggs. And this egg development takes place in the soil inside the egg to produce first stage rabbit form larva that undergoes first molting okay again from the first I have said you that first molting takes place and mainly leads to second stage rabbit form larva and second molting takes place and mainly leads to the formation of third, sta third stage rabbit form larva and again it mainly leads to the formation of third molting and finally leads to the formation of fourth stage fourth stage rabbit form larva and that fourth stage rabbit form li for larva is the final molting which takes place in the life cycle of ascaris lubricoids okay and after the formation of third stage rabbit form larva, it reaches to the host by contamination. That who here? What is mean by host? host? Host is nothing but a human being. In such a way that it enters into the human being by eating contaminated food and water. In such a way that it enters into the human being. That's nothing but it enters into the part of small intestine. It is present in the human beings. So it gets dissolved in the small intestine and reaches to the liver and finally reaches to the heart. So, if, uh, with, the, uh, with the help of hepatic portal vein, it reaches to the liver. With the help of post caval vein, it reaches to the heart. And with the help of pulmonary arteries, it reaches to the lungs. Okay? So, what is here? With the help of hepatic portal vein, it reaches to the liver. And with the he help of postal caval vein, post caval vein, it reaches to the heart. And with the help of pulmonary arteries, it finally reaches to the lungs. Okay? And again, second molting takes place. Where, where the second molting takes place? Alveoli. Alveoli is nothing but it is one of the parts which is mainly present in the lungs in such a way that it mainly helps in the function of respiration. Okay? And then uh, the second molting takes place again and mainly forms third stage rabbity form larva. Because here, here, if you see here, only second stage rabbity form larva takes place. After entering into the host, Parts of, uh, after entering into the parts of the organs which are mainly present in the host, then it undergoes second molting and mainly leads to the formation of third stage rabbit form larva and again undergoes third molting and forms fourth stage rabbit form larva. After fourth stage rabbit form larva, it, it undergoes, it does not undergoes any, any molting in this stage of, uh, uh, what we say, ascaris uh, lumbricoids. So, it enters into the bronchi and then trachea and then enters into the larynx and enters into the glottis that is nothing but epiglottis which is mainly present in the part of the neck region to the, which is attached to the lungs and then it enters into the pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and then it undergoes fourth molting in such a way that it again mainly forms the new one and after again 8 to 10 weeks of this life cycle what happens again this male form and the female form a uh, female worm will get mature within 8 to 10 weeks and again undergoes copulation and mainly leads to the formation of eggs and that eggs will enter into the human beings by eating contaminated food and water which is mainly consumed by the human beings and then again it enters into the liver and again it enters into the heart and from the heart to lungs and from the lungs to the stomach, small intestine and again it undergoes fourth molding and again it mainly leads to the formation of adult worms of male and female again it undergoes copulation and mainly continues the cycle. This is the life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoid. So this is just the notes of the Ascaris lumbricoid. Many people are asking to upload the videos for the notes of uh, notes of Ascaris lumbricoid, Plasmodium vivax in man, mosquito, and Intermeba estolytica, and also in the Hooker area bankruptcy. So all of these notes will be uploaded. Will be uploaded. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment in the comment box. And forgot and uh, forgot to say. Uh, the explanation of this video will be given in the description box uh, and that link will be given in the description box so if you are interested to watch that uh, video of explanation please open that link and please watch that video thank you